Thank you very much for joining me on this Sunday. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. I want to talk about July, what to expect for tropical storms, hurricanes, name systems throughout the month of July. Here's the broad picture. Gulf of Mexico, Caribbean, the Atlantic Basin, several tropical waves, which is common for this time of year. They're a little bit stronger, a lot more rain with them, but I'm not seeing any signs of development. Now, let me set the stage for you. What's going on in the Atlantic Basin? This red shading, look at these water temperatures well out into the Atlantic, 28, 29 degrees Celsius in that red shading you're seeing there. That's about 84 to 86 degrees Fahrenheit. That is conducive for development. That's why we've had a fast start to the season. We have Brett and Cindy forming to the east of the Caribbean, which was very rare for June. Bath water as we get back toward parts of the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean, water temperatures 30, 31 degrees uh, Celsius. The water temperature is running way above average. You see this map? Now, when you look at this map and you see the yellow, orange, and red, all you need to know about that is those are above average temperatures, uh, water temperatures for this time of year. We are way above average. It's a little bit more like late July and August versus early July. So Gulf of Mexico, Caribbean, the Atlantic, for the most part, well above average temperatures. That's an issue out there, but we haven't had uh, any named storms at least the last couple days, and I don't expect any for the week ahead because water Water temperatures are one ingredient. There's a lot of wind shear. Winds coming in the opposite direction that would rip apart some developing tropical waves and plenty of dust out here. So while I have this wide view on the map and we're going to track a strong tropical wave, I'm not seeing it spinning up. However, mid and late July, there's going to be a bigger surge of moisture, less dust. Name systems expected. It. it could be a very active into this month. So I'm going to be watching that very carefully as we go throughout the month of July. Now, as we go forward, just to take you out in time, and in a second, I want to zoom down into this in the Caribbean. That flood threat, you can see it there, is going to get higher. But with that said, deep into the Atlantic, this is by Tuesday. So to take you through early July as we go throughout the week ahead, while there are these strong tropical waves, not quite seeing anything spinning up. Again, there's some wind shear out there and some of the dust. This is by the time we get into Thursday. Now, the issue is the tropical waves themselves, we know we don't need a name system to get serious flooding. We've already had that parts of May and June in many spots. And as these tropical waves, while I'm not seeing development, look at that. Again, moving over some of the same spots. This is by the time we get into Friday. It's wave after wave out there. And again, that is uh, a big issue. Now, as we take a look at the Atlantic, uh, typically through a hurricane season, the months are down here. As we get into July, things start to ramp up. We usually get a few name systems. August, September, and October, the peak of the season, the heart of the season, that's when we get 85% of named systems on average just in those three months, and we're not too far away from August. So again, typically things would ramp up, but as I mentioned, mid and late month, there sh should be more moisture out there in the Atlantic Basin, which would again uh, allow for more development and the potential of more named systems. So we've had Arlene, Brett, Cindy, plus that unnamed system in January. So we've had actually four systems total, Don, Emily, Franklin, and Gert, the next names on the list, at least in the short term, as I showed you, I'm not seeing development, but as this month goes on, it is going to turn very active. Now look at this, look at this big blob of cloud cover, rainstorms, uh, Costa Rica, we had some flooding in spots. Thank you for leaving, uh, leaving those comments. Trinidad and Tobago was a good example of how this pattern's been. We had some spots just getting tons of sunshine yesterday. Others were getting some of the rain. Again, tropical waves themselves are these organized systems. Some of us get dumped on, others get some breaks in the action, but Central America, Western Caribbean, more active. But look at that on your screen right there. There's that next tropical wave. Eastern Pacific, Beatrice and Adrian, both of those have fallen apart. Still some flooding interior sections of Mexico is keeping you up to date on that. Coastal Guatemala watching near El Salvador. Isolated flooding possible today with some rain and storms nearby. Nicaragua as well. You see how active it is here. Keeping an eye right here for some of the uh, the uh, rain with that next tropical wave. Now the ABC Islands, Aruba, Curacao, Bonaire, parts of northern Venezuela, northern Colombia. We've just been in between things. As the tropical waves move in, the wind shear kills them so we don't get a lot of rain. We've had a ton of rain here just kind of surging in uh, from parts of the uh, Pacific. It is tied together. The Pacific into the Caribbean. This is tied together through this area here. Very hot. Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, Haiti, Jamaica over the next couple days. Just some 
pop-up storms. So again, Jamaica, Cayman Islands, pop-up variety, but Honduras over toward Nicaragua, even Belize, higher chance of rain. And here it comes later on Monday, Eastern Caribbean, watching Grenada, St. Vincent of the Grenadines, St. Lucia, Barbados tomorrow night, Trinidad and Tobago. Again, it's not one blob of rain, but that rain chance is going to be increasing. Again, this is on Monday. Now look what happens as we move forward. Let me stop it here as we get into Tuesday, right here, Tuesday afternoon. That next tropical wave I showed you moves in, chance of flooding gets higher, Trinidad, Tobago, all the way back throughout Puerto Rico, uh, Guyana, Suriname, northern Venezuela, a better chance of getting some of the rain. So again, the rain chance creeping up by uh, tomorrow night into Monday, even toward the Dominican Republic. Haiti will see some of that working in, watching Antigua, Barbuda, St. Kitts, Nevis, Anguilla, Seba, Stacia, uh, Montserrat, St. Kitts, and Nevis will have that rain again starting late tomorrow in through the day on Tuesday. Not all day stuff over toward uh, St. Kitts. It's not going to be all day, but you see again that chance of rain that will get higher. So again, it gets more active tomorrow night into Tuesday. Now breaking down the rainfall, this is just through tomorrow night. So again, we're going to see a better chance of rain Tuesday, Eastern Caribbean. You see it there. You see uh, many of us are dry and just super hot or we get five to about 25 millimeters of rain if you get passing showers. But out here in the Atlantic, you see the brighter colors, 75 millimeters of rain or three inches of rain. Again, open waters, but that's that next tropical wave that will be moving in with that next chance of rain. Jamaica, Haiti, Dominican Republic, it would just be a pop-up shower storm. This is, again, where we have flood issues. Not all day stuff, but that surge of moisture uh, from Panama, Costa Rica, but especially the Nicaragua, Honduras, trying to curve back toward Belize. Some spots through tomorrow night, Right. Uh, about 100 millimeters of rain or four inches of rain. Again, millimeters and inches right there to keep it covered both ways. Cayman Islands, it would just be a spotty shower. Same thing, Cuba, passing shower storm, Turks and Caicos and the Bahamas up through Florida. Florida, super hot the next couple days. So Aruba, again, uh, Bonaire, Curacao as well. Rain chance, very limited, five, 10% chance. Belize, now that rain chance bopping around a bit. I showed you that surge of moisture that's trying to work in. So the next few days, generally a 50 to 70% chance of rain, a little bit higher Honduras uh, and Nicaragua. And as we work our way toward Jamaica, this is spotty stuff. Rain chance goes up a little bit by Tuesday. Again, I'm not seeing any big shield of rain moving in, but we're talking about those scattered storms. Some of us just dry and baking in the heat while others get some of the storms. Same thing in Haiti. This is not a washout, but you see by Tuesday about a 50% chance of rain. Super, super hot in Haiti. I actually wish we had more rain overall, but again, it's just gonna be the spotty afternoon stuff. Dominican Republic, I was just showing you, same thing. We get back through the Bahamas, 40-50% chance the next few days. That's scattered stuff. Puerto Rico, super hot. We've got the heat advisories, excessive heat the next few days. By Tuesday, that's when we'll see a better chance of rain. British Virgin Islands, U.S. Virgin Islands, watching St. Croix, same thing, over toward uh, Antigua, Barbuda. By the time we get into uh, Tuesday night, we can see the rain chance a little higher, but scattered showers. Most of the rain Antigua, Barbuda will be just to the south, or just off to the uh, west. Uh, but again, I'm watching us up throughout uh, Anguilla. St. Martin, Saba, Stacia, again, rain chance 20, 30% the next uh, few days. We swing back here to St. Kitts and Nevis again. Tuesday, hopefully we get a better chance of some rain working in. Right now, about a 30, 40% chance. We just gotta wait and see how this tropical wave kind of pans out for the Northeastern Caribbean. It's the Southeastern Caribbean that will have a better chance. Rain chance uh, in St. Lucia, not a complete washout, but up to a 60% chance on Tuesday, 50, 60% chance late Monday into Tuesday as we work our way over toward Bridgetown and Barbados. St. Vincent and the Grenadines again late Monday into Tuesday. Next tropical wave moves in. Rain chance will go up. Same thing as we work our way into Grenada. A 70% chance of some rain by the time we get into Tuesday. Working back toward Trinidad and Tobago. 60-70% chance of rain. Upwards of an 80% chance of rain just to the south as we work our way toward Guyana. About a 60% chance in uh, Suriname. So again watching Central America for some of that that flooding today. Next tropical wave tomorrow night into Tuesday coming in. No signs of a named system, but again, more moisture mid to late July. So it is going to be an active finish to the month. The next name on the list is Dom. So again, plenty to track. I'll keep you po posted on those surges of moisture moving in. Please share this channel. Thank you for subscribing. Leave the comments. I'll get to those as we go throughout the day. Have a good day ahead.